To gain access to the abdominal cavity, small incisions are created on the abdomen. Trocars, which serve as passageways for the surgical instruments, are placed into the incisions. The surgical instruments are placed through the trocars into the abdominal cavity. The surgeon examines the abdominal cavity using a laparoscope or video camera. In preparation for the band, a tunnel is created behind the stomach. The realized band is introduced to the abdomen through a trocar. The realized band is positioned around the upper portion of the stomach and then secured using the locking mechanism. A tube attached to the realized band will be connected to the injection port. The port is used to adjust the band tightness after surgery. An incision is made on the upper abdomen to insert the realized injection port beneath the skin. The tube is secured using the locking connector on the port. The injection port and tube are placed beneath the skin. The realized band does not alter your digestive function. Food consumed passes through the digestive tract in the normal route. Your surgeon may tighten the realized band by injecting saline into the injection port. As the saline is introduced to the realized injection port, it travels through the tube to the band. The addition of saline to the band creates a smaller upper stomach pouch. This smaller stomach pouch restricts the amount of food you can eat before feeling full. As with all weight loss procedures, Behavior modification and dietary compliance plays a critical part in determining the long-term success of the procedure. All surgery presents risks. Weight, age, and medical history determine your specific risks. Ask your doctor if bariatric surgery is right for you.